this is a petition that have come to the committee. And um, we all know that malaria is now an epidemic in Nigeria. I can tell us that the government have always want to help the people. But most times, the civil servants are our problem. This money has been made available for since 2001. We have been inviting um, the PAMSEC. This is the third time that we're inviting her to come and explain to us what has happened. Have they used the money? If they have not used the money, where is the money? If they have used the money to buy uh, uh, malaria, anti-malaria commodities, where are they? It's a matter of simple explanation. As a committee, we are beginning to see how our civil servants connive with international bodies, in this case, UNOPS, to run Nigerian businesses down. First of all, they blacklist them that they are not qualified. When we already have an executive order and we already have uh, uh, a clearance from the National Assembly. Mr. Chairman, why are we talking about this today? We need some scapegoats here. This is not good for us. We now understand why the Permanent Secretary has been invited three times and has refused to show up before this honorable committee. I see, or we have all seen now, that uh, the Permanent Secretary, and in my opinion, all of Ministry of Health, do not share the same passion that we do to save our people. That is a shame. Mr. Chairman, I think it is necessary that we summon them. I move a motion, Mr. Chairman, that we use the powers conferred to us by the Constitution and the standing order that we serve to summon the Ministry of Health, not just the, the Permanent Secretary, but also the Minister in charge. They are not here to defend these allegations. Let's bring these allegations when they are here. They have refused to come. Let's not tell them what they are going to hear when they come here. When they come here, then we can now attack them or present them with whatever allegation we have.